Hi, in this second part of the slow rising balloon tutorial, I will show you how to add cloth simulation to the ribbon. Uh, you can find a link to the previous tutorial in the video description below. Uh, you can also download the scene file for this tutorial in the video description below. All right, so uh, let's make sure the ribbon is selected and uh, let's head over to frame zero. And now let's also go to the physics properties and let's add cloth to the ribbon. And uh, let's just set the vertex mass to a value of 0 0.001. And now let's play the simulation to check it out. And as you can see, um, the balloon moves up as the cloth stays behind. All right. And uh, to make the ribbon follow the balloon, we need to select some vertices on it and pin it to the balloon using the cloth pin feature. So we will create a vertex group for the vertices where the ribbon is attached to the balloon. We will also use the weight paint for this to give different weight strength to the selected vertices. All right, so let's um, um, switch to the weight paint mode. So select the object mode and let's head over to the weight paint. And now I'm going to use a strength of one and a weight of one to paint the vertices that I want to be pinned to the balloon. So I'm going to paint here. Okay. And then I want to set this to 0.5 and then also just uh, blend this a little bit with a, a softer, or should I say less uh, weight. And um, of course we have the weight at one, but because the strength is lower, uh, we are not going to paint at the full weight. All right, I think this is cool. And uh, let's head over to the object mode again. And if we should uh, go to the object data properties, as you can see, we have a vertex group created for us. Let's rename this to holder. And now let's head over to the physics properties again. And let's scroll all the way down to the shape section. And let's uh, select the vertex group here under the pin group. And now if we zoom out and play the animation, the ribbon should follow the balloon. All right. Okay, so that is it. Um, now I want to create a cache for this simulation. Okay, so I'm going to go to the cache section and uh, let's give a name to the cache. Now, I like doing this, especially when I have the disk cache on um, so that the cache files will have uh, the name that I give to the cache. And caching on disk is uh, useful if you don't want to rebake each time you open the file. But since this is just a tutorial, I'm pretty fine with just caching to memory. Now the length of our entire animation is 300 frames. So uh, let me change this from 250 to 300. All right, now let's click on the big um, button and this will begin uh, baking the animation. All right, now I'm gonna fast forward this since this will take a while. All right, now it has finished baking, but let's uh, play the animation and make sure that the simulation works quite well before we do a viewport rendering. So I'm going to observe closely. And I think this is looking good. All right, but uh, as you can see, when the balloon drops down a bit, the ribbon starts to crumble. And this is because um, I believe that the vertex mass was too low. So let's delete the bake. Let's head over to the top and let's uh, set this to about uh, maybe um, 0 0.05. All right, now let's uh, recreate the bake again. So click on bake and then I'm going to fast forward this. All right, so let's check this out. And as you can see, when the balloon drops, uh, we have a very good uh, cloth simulation. All right, so we can go ahead and do our viewport rendering. Let me set the viewport shading to rendered and let's head over to the view menu 
and let's uh, select viewport render animation. Now, since this will take some time, I'm going to fast forward until it finishes. All right, so our render is complete. Uh, let me close this window and uh, let's head over to the render menu and select view animation. All right, as you can see, this looks great. Our ribbon is no more rigid. And so thank you for watching. I will be working on another birthday balloon tutorial, uh, which will come in about a week's time. Uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to be alerted when I release a new video. Uh, please also leave a comment and let me know if these tutorials that I have been making are useful to you. Uh, let me also know of any suggestion you may have to help me improve my tutorials.